This is Tanks Vlog for November 8th, 2018, wrapping up today in sports. We're brought to you by Allow Me To Be Frank, the weekly podcast you can hear on SoundCloud and iTunes. Uh, we had another great show this week. We looked at uh, the NCAA football and college football. We take a look at debate. Is this the best Alabama team ever? And just who are the Power Five right now in the NFL? Listen, have fun, and enjoy. Right now, a team that's definitely having fun is the Toronto Raptors. They are an NBA best 11-1. Kawhi Leonard has been fantastic in Toronto. Averaging 26.1 points per game. And the Raptors right now are just playing terrific basketball. They had their first ever perfect run on a Western road swing going 4-0. Tonight was a 114-105 win over the Sacro the Tomato Kings. And now my tabs are frozen. I even pay, even loaded pages take a long time on this junky. Mama, don't let your babies grow up to buy HPs. Their computers suck, and you're out of luck. If you bought one just three years ago, all right. Looks like we're starting to get some life here. The Knicks. Unfortunately, got a win, uh, a costly win for the Knicks as they uh, improved to 4-8, and eight, taking them further away from the Zion Williamson sweepstakes. You know who's going to get Zion Williamson, don't you? It's going to be leaving Cadabras. So, uh, the NBA, so, yeah, so Dan Gilbert doesn't go, Collusion! Collusion! Give us an all game, or we'll say Collusion! Yes, what the NBA doesn't want anyone to know is that uh, the whole plan is for Zion Williams to eventually end up in L.A. in three years with LeBron James. As the Lakers will soon have all, all the NBA All-Stars. You see, that's all the NBA wants is super teams. They actually want these super teams as the Knicks continue to spin the reels. And speaking of the clean cadavers... Another loss, dropping the one in ten with a ninety-five eighty-six win, ninety-five eighty-six loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Nice game by Dennis Schroeder in that one. It was the Pistons getting back to five hundred with a one hundred three ninety-six win over the Magic. Now a page I had loaded, just unload it, and I get a gray screen. Gray screen, all that I see. Nothing but gray screen do I see. You know, I don't know why. It just, 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 every night it just does something else to piss me off. This damn piece of shit computer. I'm just trying to look up the scores. It's, is it too much to ask to look up the damn scores? It was the Heat burning the Spurs, 95-88. The 76ers over the Pacers, 100-94. The Grizzlies, they're playing good basketball. Stunned the Nuggets, 89-87. Just a second loss on the year for Denver. Pelicans, 107-98 winners over the Bulls. It was the Jazz, 117-102 winners over the Mavericks. It was something I had to give in that game, as the Mavericks came in with an 0-5 record on the road, and the Jazz were 0-4 at home. And it was the Lakers beating the Timber Puppies, 114-110. LeBron James just missed a triple-double. 
Oh, Minnesota. You know, that might be one of the worst organizations in sports right now, the Minnesota Timberwolves. They just can't ever get anything right. Moving on to hockey, it was the Capitals beating the Penguins 2-1. 41 saves by Braden Holpe as uh, the Capitals got a goal from TJ Oshie and Alexi, and Alexi uh, Alex Ovechkin. And it was Sidney Crosby with his seventh goal of the year for the Penguins. The Penguins are not playing good hockey right now. It was the Predators 4-1 winners over the Avalanche with a Colton Sissons hat trick. And the Ducks squawked and the uh, Calgary Flames nightmare in Anaheim continued. They did win a game last year, but boy, they still can't win down there. Three two winners for the Anaheim Ducks. I mean, the Calgary Flames must hear that, It's a small world after all, in their dreams as many times as they lose in Anaheim. Maybe they go on too many Disneyland rides. I don't know. All right, let's take a look at the three stars. We got Colton Sissons of the Predators with that hat trick, Braden Hopi of the Capitals, Hassan Whiteside of the Heat, who had 29 points and 20 rebounds in the win over the Spurs. And he also had nine blocked shots. Almost a <laughs> triple double the hard way. Today's birthday sh uh, shout out goes to. For it's one, two, three strikes and you're out at the Giancarlo Stanton at bat. Yes, that's right. Mr. K himself, Giancarlo Stanton, who <laughs> came up empty on most of his swings in the playoffs. He turns 29. And it was 40 years ago that one of the greatest hockey players ever had to retire because of knee injuries. And I'm talking about Bobby Orr, who was actually playing for the Chicago Blackhawks at the end of his career. Now, what happened was uh, he his knee started giving out when he was in Boston. He signed a big deal with the uh, Blackhawks and ended up only playing a handful of games over three seasons. Uh... But everyone remembers his 10 years in Boston were perhaps the best 10 years any player in the NHL ever had. No doubt the best defensive player in NHL history. Some to even will suggest that he's the best ever, period. So check out the full story at Barstool Sports and at Sports Encyclopedia where sports history lives. Uh, also, don't forget to listen to Allow Me to Be Frank. Uh, I wonder if the federal prison system has uh, access to my podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud. I hope so, because uh, it would be nice if Craig Carton could give uh, a listen to us. And maybe one day uh, we could see if we could make a prison hookup. As he was found guilty today for his uh, schemes. Meanwhile... Uh, Mike Francesa has started a feud with uh, Carton's replacement today, uh, Greg Giannotti, and ignited a feud, a Twitter war between Greg Giannotti and Sid Rosenberg, and WFAN is now starting to look like a soap opera. So, that's why it's good to listen to Allow Me To Be Frank. You just get sports. Not all the rest of the rigor remote. Good day.